Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations. We're going to solve each system by substitution. So, <clears throat> if I was given this system, 3x minus 5y equals a 17, and my second equation, just y equals a negative 7. Well, lucky for me, <clears throat> we are given y by itself. So, what I'm going to do is take the first equation, 3x minus 5, and instead of a y, I'm going to plug in that negative 7 equals 17. So I'm going to bring down that first equation right there. Okay. Well, pretty simple. 5, all right, this is true that negative 5, or multiply it out. So 3x times negative 5 times a negative 7 is a positive 35 equals 17. Well, subtracting 35 to both sides, let's get x by itself. And we have 3x equals 17 minus the 35. Oh, we'll save time. 17 minus 35. Going right here, negative 18. So we have a negative 18 like that. Divided by 3 to both sides gives me x by itself. Negative 18 divided by 3 is a negative 6. So we have an x value of negative 6. Now, what's nice is we were already told that y is equal to negative 7 from the beginning. So we can combine the knowledge of these two parts together to get our final answer, which is just a coordinate point of negative 6, comma, negative 7. And there we go. Final answer is pretty simple here, it is negative 6, comma, negative 7. So let's recap. We're given our two equations, 3x minus 5, y equals 17, and y equals a negative 7. I plug that knowledge of y equals negative 7 into my first equation's y, or yeah, y value. I simplify it. Negative 5 times negative 7 is a uh, positive 35. So I track the 35 to both sides, so you have a negative 18. Divided by 3 to both sides, gave me x equals negative 6. I had my x value here. I was already given my y value to be negative 7. Combine those two to get our final answer, which is our coordinate point, and our, um, we solved it using substitution, uh, which is negative 7, comma, negative, uh, sorry, negative 6, comma, negative 7. 